assalamu alaikum dear students hope you are fine students as you know that uh, we are going through our unit number 8 good manners and morals and we are going through different aspects and different topics of good manners and morals today's topic is very interesting and important as well and the topic is courtesy you might have heard the word before you may be knowing it uh, from different perspective but today we will be talking about it in the perspective of islam that how islam perceives courtesy and what are our moral duties towards um islam being courteous so we will take a start from the definition of courtesy that what it is in a nutshell we can say courtesy means politeness simply but it is a very wide topic in courtesy there is there are wide range of uh, uh, behaviors that are the part of courtesy it is not only politeness let's see what uh, allah subhanahu wa taala says about it bismillahir rahmanir rahim wa iza huyishtum bi tahiyyatin fa hayyu bi ahsana minha aw rudduha in allah kana bi ala kulli shay'in hasiba it means and when you are greeted with a greeting greet with one better than it of return it indeed allah is ever over all things an accountant what does it means allah subhanahu wa taala says that when you are meeting someone when you are greeting each other the person who greets you uh, in a beautiful way your response should be more beautiful than that person you should greet the other person more beautifully than that than him so allah is the one who will reward you who is accountable yani who is watching both of you islam want us to be more polite to be more courteous to be more well behaved with each other with our family members with our siblings with our friends students courtesy is actually showing of politeness in one's attitude and one's behavior towards others you can say the definition of courtesy is polite behavior and the showing of proper manners or a uh, uh, polite uh, or you can say socially proper act for example when you shake hands politely when you meet someone and say if you please give me this thing if you please um, let me uh, pass through here and when you say thank you when you feel obliged this is courtesy listen there are some people you might have uh, observed that you always say she is a very good girl how do you know that other person is a good person through her behavior you came to know about it isn't it so this behavior comes under the definition of courtesy you know islam has strongly encouraged the concept of decency and modesty what is decency and modesty modesty is humbleness students in your speech in our behavior in our dressing each and everything uh, depicts that we are courteous and if we are not even then it shows courtesy is actually the behavior that one should have with uh, uh, while interacting with people hmm the these characteristics also consist of being organized being clean being gentle being truthful right so you can't only say that courtesy is just politeness no there are lots of varieties of uh, things that come under this uh topic okay let's start reading the lesson and you will understand it more a person who is courteous is liked by others this is an important thing why do we like others on the basis of their good behavior their on the basis of their manners his courtesy encourages others 
to practice it also you see uh, good deeds always encourages others to behave like that when someone is good he will bring harmony in the environment where he or she is moving isn't it thus a good feeling prevails in society prevails mean covered everywhere in society when you are courteous other person is courteous it means that we are uh, living happily we are living lovingly in the place where we are interacting with each other a gentleman is one who is nice and polite he shows courtesy to others right he is humble underline the word humble humble means modest and friendly person yani it is not difficult to approach that person he is not stubborn he is not harsh the dealings with such people who are courteous is always easy right you always expect goodness from them this is how you uh, like that person this is how you like to be that per- like that person he talks to people with a cheerful voice underline the word cheerful uh, it means happy and positive way and a smiling face can you see how many uh, things are the power of being courteous a smiling face a cheerful voice a friendly manner a humbleness there are so many characteristics na the power of courtesy islam asks us to develop such manners and encourages us to speak with people in a friendly manner as we have discussed it before that islam always encourages us to be polite with people even though if they are not muslims even then we are uh, ordered to behave nicely to behave uh, courteously with people prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that meeting your brother with a pleasant face is a sadaqa what a big words they are this is uh, you can say the criteria that allah's prophet has given us that if you meet with your uh, friend with the smiling face this is sadaqa you know we only thinks that giving money is sadaqa but our prophet uh, muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is telling us that they that quality of yours is equivalent to sadaqa okay if you are not in a position to do a good deed for someone you can at least speak to him kindly that will be comfort for his heart what does it means sometimes we are not in position to favor others we are not uh, comfortable to fulfill the requirements of others even then what can we do we can at least give smile to that person we can at least uh, show our kind behavior to others this this also uh, creates the comfortness in others heart for us from us so we have learned so many things under this topic of courtesy students uh, i hope you have understood the topic i want you to do one thing consciously consciously uh, which comes under the part of courtesy and you are going to um, inform about your that deed in a form of a voice note and then you will inform uh, in whatsapp group in homework this is your homework that what did you do consciously listen courtesy is not only the thing that you will only do with the people to whom you don't know no your family comes first your parents comes first we can be courteous to allah subhanahu wa taala as well how by performing our salahs beautifully on time with proper dressing with the listen uh, if even if somebody um offer prayers with proper dressing 
and uh, with the perfumed uh, you can say uh, scarf this is how we we are uh, we want to meet our uh, allah in a beautiful manner this is also a courtesy that when we offer our prayers on time this is a part of courtesy or a good behavior similarly if you um behave nicely with your uh, siblings with your uh, parents there are lots of things that you can do but we do not do it why because we take so many things for granted we we never pay attention that our parents are doing so many things for us why don't we care because we take them granted so what is your homework that you will do one conscious act of kindness of courtesy and you will tell in um, homework group about it in the evening no hurries okay uh, every everyone should have different um, you know different kind of uh, experience don't copy each other right inshallah see you uh, in next class with the book exercises of this lesson right goodbye